Hello! Today we are going to look at how to enter GST and HST installments in QuickBooks Online and I will show you how they show up on the reports. My name is Ronica Canna. I'm a CPA, CFA, and the founder of Montreal Financial. And you can go to my website at montrealfinancial.ca and find lots of resources for solopreneurs, small business owners uh, to help you with your business. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, go to the Sales Tax tab on the left-hand side, and let's talk about how you enter the installments that you paid uh, into QuickBooks Online. So we are simply, and the process is actually very simply uh, simple, we are going to go to Payments, and here you will click on New, and you will enter Installment. And let's say your installments, your GST and HST payable for 2022 was $3,000, then your installment would be $750. So choose the bank account that you are going to pay from, from the drop down. And this is really important, otherwise you won't see it in the banking download and it won't match. Uh, you put the payment date of the installment. So in our case, for 2023, the first installment would have been due on April 30th. So let's assume we paid it right on time. You could pay, pay it before. If you were to pay it after this date, some interest would apply. So it's better to pay it uh, before rather than later, but the consequences aren't necessarily significant depending on how much the amount of the installment is. Keep in mind that interest is owed on uh, the amount payable. So higher, the higher the amount, the higher the interest payable. So in terms of the filing date, you can leave this as 1-1-2023, or you could change it to December 31st. It won't make a difference to the report as long as it's within the period. Uh, and here I'm simply going to enter $750 and record installment. And then you'll, when you go to your filing, first of all, you'll see this number changed. It went down by $750. Uh, and when you go to prepare return, you will see that there is a box line 110, which is $750. And this will correspond to the GST HS, HST return from CRA. And you can enter this in all of these boxes as explained in uh, another video. Uh, correspond to the boxes on the actual return from Revenue Canada or if you're in Quebec from Revenue Quebec. So that is pretty much it on entering installments. And finally, let's go take a look at uh, our financial reports to see where that $750 payment which you can also see here, uh, posted. Uh, and it, this would be on the balance sheet. We can go to reports and then click on balance sheet. And here I am going to choose the last fiscal year, run report, scroll down. And here we will see the $750 uh, in GST HST suspense uh, which will be applied. This is where your payable goes to once you file the return. And filing of the return, um, as explained in a previous video, but just for to refresh, is if you go and prepare return and make sure everything's okay, and then you would click on mark as filed. Once you do that, it also gets posted to the suspense account. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't hesitate to let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments. Uh, and please like and subscribe. Uh, have a great day.